Hey guys, Ed Bud here, and today I'm back, I haven't forgotten, to announce the winner of the recent running shoe giveaway. So it's time to announce the winner of the February running shoe giveaway. Many thanks to all of you who entered. There was a massive entries, there were loads. It took quite a while for Beast and I to sort through them all. Many boxes of cat food were eaten and many coffees were drunk. We read through each and every single one of the entries and we do have a winner. Before I get to that though, here are just a few of the different celebrities that you guys chose and emailed in as your entries. Elon Musk, two of you voted for Mo Farah. Chris Packham, the kind of UK, I guess he's sort of like a environmental animal kind of guy. A couple of you want to seek beauty with Seth James Damore. The Ginger Runner, Phil Knight, the founder of Nike. Four of you wanted to run with Donald Trump for various different reasons. Chris Evans, the Virgin Radio DJ. 15 of you wanted to run with Elliot Kipchoge. David Beckham, four of you with Casey Neistat. Three with the very famous and fantastic David Attenborough. Two of you for Will Smith or the Fresh Prince. One of you fancied a tour around the pubs with Liam Gallagher. Two of you wanted a long and winding run with Sir Paul McCartney. A couple of boxers were in there, Mike Tyson, and three of you voted for Rocky Balboa. Two for the jump man, Michael Jordan. One of you voted for Her Royal Highness, the Queen. Two for Kenanisa Bekele. One for the Stone Roses front man, Ian Brown. I love Ian Brown. I always remember when Corpses came out. What a great tune. Three for The Rock. Three for Kevin Hart. One for the boss, Bruce Springsteen. I guess, you know, he is born to run after all. Three of you voted for some guy called Ed Bud. One for Tim Peake. Kobe Bryant, one of you for Ryan Reynolds. One for Bruce Fordyce. Not, that's not Bruce Forsyth, the uh, very famous kind of game show host, comedian, presenter in the UK. Oh, I love, used to love Brucey. Brucey was amazing. Didn't they do well? That was the phrase. Didn't they do well? One for Bill Murray. Gotta love Bill Murray. He's a great guy. Two for Paula Radcliffe. And two for Haile Gabri Selassie. So many entries, we had to go through all of them to see which was the best. Lots of big motivators in there. Obviously, Kipchoge had 15 or so votes, which is very understandable. I think he's inspired lots of people to get out there, get themselves a pair of running shoes and start to get healthy. Lots of you selected people that kind of make you laugh and entertain you. I think it's always important to put a little bit of humour into your videos. So after we went through all of the entries, one of them really stood out. So, drum roll please. Carl Evans, your selection of Brent Smith from the band Shinedown is the winning entry, and here's why. Certainly a very inspiring story via email. Want to encourage many, many in an athlete. So Carl's reasoning behind selecting Brent Smith from Shinedown is mainly due to the incredible transformation in terms of physical health, exercise, and also being an advocate for fantastic mental health. All of that's very, very close to my heart, and those are all concerns that we should really all be invested in. Carl, I'll be in touch with you very, very soon to discuss shoe selection and sizing and all that kind of stuff, so please do look out for my email. There'll be another running shoe giveaway very, very soon, possibly at the end of March. Please do look out for that, keep your eyes peeled. Later in the week, we have a menagerie of different videos coming up. I've got a special collaborative review coming very very soon of the asics evo ride with my good friend and your good friend too so we'll be giving you our initial views on the shoe we've literally just managed to get hold of them and uh, we're going to be putting those together in this kind of we're going to be throwing together our views in a kind of big soup a cauldron of like a stew a shoe stew yeah they're here they're waiting to be unveiled so you'll get initial kind of reviews from both of us and we're going to kind of then do some full reviews a little later down the line. So really excited to be collaborating with another YouTuber. It's great to have somebody as enthusiastic about running shoes as me too. I've been getting some initial runs in the Osprey Daylight Pra... Daylight Pra... Can't speak. So I've been doing some initial runs using the Osprey Daylight Plus backpack mainly as sort of commutes back from work so i'm going to give you a kind of initial thoughts video on that a little later in the week so do watch out for that i was praying for some more rain actually today uh, to test out the waterproof capabilities of the backpack but alas it's completely dry now typical you may notice two shoes behind me 
right here. I'm going to be comparing the Infinity Run from Nike up against the Saucony Triumph 17 a little later in the week. Need to get a few more miles into the Saucony Triumph 17 first before I give you my kind of shootout video. I know people love those shootout videos and I particularly enjoy making them. So stay tuned this week, lots and lots of content coming up. It's been a very busy week last week where my daughter was down, we've been having lots of fun, lots of cinema, we've been doing lots of rock climbing, ow, lots of dog walking and lots of Roblox. I'm back on the videos this week, so do stay tuned. I've got a viewer Q&A video coming up a little later this week. I've got a few questions that I've pre-selected, uh, but if you've got any more questions on any of the shoes I've been reviewing recently, please place them up in the comments below with a flag at the start saying Q&A. And I'll pick out a few of those and add those into the Q&A video later on this week. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Please comment below with any questions on any of the running shoes I've been reviewing recently and make sure you share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bird and I'll be seeing you. Oh yeah.